uh, previous round, despite losing two players of their uh, two players in their arsenal, Make, uh, forcing a rotation, everyone uh, everyone in Team Happy Gamers was well, a little bit more complacent, so they pretty much just went in with the flow. Everyone just pushed down uh, in mid. Uh, I believe it's because they're on pistol, so they just went full out all straight, and hopefully that they will, they will be able to catch some. Uh, people in surprise and get some kills but they did manage to get some kills but just that they couldn't secure the round which was the most important factor of this game now we do have a uh, heavy utility coming in from team Gafka. as you can see quite a lot of flashes smokes and uh, incendiary grenades as well but i'm not too sure if whether they will be able to make full use of that because well um inferno you pretty much want to make full use of a uh, middle lay uh, of 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 the middle, uh, throw up all the flashes, smokes, and whatsoever because it's one of the tightest area. Like I said, looks like the smoke will be able to carry out from here. So Sheffy is pretty much on a one-way smoke in some sense. He's able to take a close look onto mid, and looks like he will be able to see them. But looks, or maybe it's just a spectator's view. I've got a little bit of an advantage in this point of time. Um, will not be seeing anyone coming in from middle. But Limp Guru is just right around the corner. Looks like he will be able to give the surprise attack right on to Xiao Sheffy and down he goes. And we do have a rotation coming in from Limp Guru going straight to City Spawn. And hopefully we'll be able to get a really nice backstep go going on here. Speed is still in uh, one side and looks like he will be sniped out by Eclipse with Limp Guru, the only one remaining. And he will, of course, go down after Quacky lands a quick direct shot with his M484. It was a good round coming in from Team Hybrid Gamers as they picked up an AWP for himself and of course A1S and A4 and whatsoever looks like the uh, AWP will be swapped around and hopefully that they will be able to fully utilize their, their kit and uh, win for themselves. So currently 1 is to 3, five, uh, 4 rounds in, this is the 5th round. We are going in and take a look at Ultima going straight in on to be a pass to incendiaring the staircase and hopefully that he will be able to fully stop a full right push. However, the push is just going to be located right here in Banana. And of course, Quacky will go down. It looks like we do have one man remaining, which is Eclipse on the AWP. He will go down as well. We do have another man coming in. Of course, Sheffield will be able to bring down himself, bring himself one down. He finds himself one. Which looks like we have a love spray coming right about now. With a uh, wild ling or uh, wild Lee spraying about and hopefully that he will be able to catch something. And Shafi picks up one with a quick headshot to Limp Guru, trying to spray into the walls as well onto triple crates. Might be able to find himself Virgin Killer, which is right around on triple crates and just moving all around the smoke and found himself one another one. And looks like Shafi with three kills up on his arsenal, he'd have to defuse kit, so he's just gonna click all the way through or not. The speed will be able to get a really fast headshot with the UMP right onto his face. And Gafka will be able to get this round as Hybrid Gamers concedes that uh, it was really well played coming in from Team Hybrid Gamers with Xiao Sheffi picking up himself uh, picking himself up with three kills. With a total of five kills for Eclipse and Xiao Sheffi with about three kills, I believe. Uh, they are off to a decent round. Limp Guru being the MVP of Team of Team Gafka, and we'll see eventually how they're gonna play this out. They have been pretty. Uh, the analytical side is that they are pretty offensive when it comes to uh, banana, and of course they like to put a lot of force. Uh, they like to take a lot of control in the middle. As you can see, Xiao Sheffi with his um. 5-7 just going in, the smoke is pretty much uh, got caught off guard, it's really hard to really understand what's going on but looks like we do have Quacky that pretty much just pushed through the smoke and landed himself right in the middle of a sandwich and with him himself being the ham. Now the rotation was came about and looks like Saint is at a really bad spot at this point of time but the flashes will be able to cover himself. Saint going in with another flash and will be able to catch the love spray off guard and Eclipse who is in construction will go down eventually as well as Saint pulls through a really well play. I'm not too sure whether they know of his position or not but still all in all they are still doing pretty damn well. We're seven, uh, 7 rounds in, this is the ROG Masters, my name is Abstract and I will be the caster for today and as for the following days and the days after next. So uh, I will be the casters for most of the, uh, most if not all of the ROG Masters game for CSGO. So hopefully that you guys won't be, won't be tired of me anytime soon. Running a triple A setup, we do have one in apartments and uh, right close to the linkway, as you can see, with a uh, normal uh, normal f 
normal 2% right on the brackets and looks like he will be uh, able to pick up a kill from Ultima onto Limp Guru, one of the most important players in, uh, in the game for Team Gafka as well. And we do have a banana push right here right uh, from Quacky, we'll be able to spot one onto T-Spawn, gets one! Most probably gonna get another one anytime soon, but C4 will be dropped down, and of course the smoke will be able to cover their asses for the time being. And speed right in second mid might be coming out of trouble as he managed to get a really nice um, flash on the cracky, but will not be able to fully capitalize on that part. But looks like Shao Sheffy is a little bit too fast for speed as he was not able to spray him. Uh, will not be able to spray him down. Yes, right on time. Saint go in for the clutch. Quacky will be low in HP and so is Eclipse and Xiao Sheffy, the only one that he have to uh, be wary of if is Love Spray. We, um, he's the only one with uh, full, H uh, full HP and of course Eclipse is the only one who do not have any helmet. So just one, uh, ju typically just one full, um, one shot to the head would be enough to kill. Of course, I'm not too sure why Team Gafka. Oh right, uh, I believe that they were pretty much on an equal round, or not? Not too sure why Saint is actually on the M4A4, but either way, it doesn't really matter. We do have uh, two is to five in favor for Team Gafka, so uh, three in advance, uh, three um, in advantage for Team Gafka. With two seconds left on the clock, freeze time is now over, and we're just heading in straight for the eighth round. Uh, we've got a pretty good economy coming in from um, Hybrid Gamers with a single AWP onto Xiao Sheffy and Gafka just forcing it out barely with uh, P90 and a couple of uh, MP9s. MP7, sorry, with uh, MP7 now. And now I know I am able to remember the silhouette. Sorry about that. But as you can see, Gafka, Team Gafka is playing a little bit more. Um, Conservative at this point of time, as the um, we do have one man in, which is Saint as well as Virgin Killer, this is just waiting behind of Banana, right about the stairs, uh, or rather the slope, just a little bit longer. Hopefully that they will be able to give Limp Guru the entry fragger a little bit more time to work with. As you can see, slowly going up to the Kabi also known as as Ninja or Gay Corner or whatever it is that you like to call it. But it looks like the smoke will be planted out and I think that what they're gonna do is for Limp Guru he's just going to rush straight through the smoke because no lot of people will really expect you to push through the smoke as you can see but looks like Shaw Sheffy is more about ready to mow down anyone that comes through the smoke and of course Limp Guru is a result of that. We do have Gafka Speed right behind uh, the, the truck not really the truck but the haystack just waiting right below of balcony. We'll be able to spot Ultima. Get a little bit um, impatient right there. And looks like Ultima will be able to de deliver a quick and swift blow right onto him and speed. Still halfway through the air. And just got mowed down by both Love Spray as well as Ultima. Saint coming in through brackets. Now, he's pretty much the only one remaining. Uh, together with Virgin Killer, he'll try to trade up with a gun for a, a trade out his gun for an AK and of course just going to take this time and run himself to safety hopefully he will be able to save this gun but I'm pretty sure that he will be able to and there we go with one gun for himself AK and Virgin Killer with an MP7 currently with 5k gold so pretty much stable in terms of economy they will be able to get a full buy followed by a full utility onto their utility belt and hopefully that they will be able to stop hybrid gamers on their shoes. So we do have a three one two two in terms of winning. So uh, like uh, um, if for those people who do not understand, we have three wins for terrorists, one for counter terrorists, two following, uh, and then two after that. So three is to five. Round nine. We're looking into Saint right on banana so he will be facing with one man only onto eclipse he's just going into double uh to second boxes and then to triple crates hopefully that he will be able to um cover this alone as phase and virgin killer did not manage to work out as well so chef is uh roughly and pretty much mildly injured as well in this in the whole entire process and we do have saint going in smoking it out a little bit Careless, I would say. Not the best way that you like to smoke right out in the open, most but definitely the, uh, the nicest way is probably smoke from the banana. But looks like just going to go straight onto Coffin. Hopefully, they, he'll be able to get some uh, uh, kills out. 
not gonna notice anyone on triple crits at this point of time and looks like Lim Guru will be able to get the kill onto Eclipse which I believe was in a coffin no it was in triple crits now it's only one man in onto gardens or rather construction we do have our uh, ultima running straight in quacky still at flower gardens and looks like Sane will be able to deliver a quick finishing blow onto him and it will be a three against three matchup at this point of time we do have um, love spray just right around the corner round the coffins and looks like the team will be able to mow down the rest of team gafka and that will be the end of round four giving hybrid gamers four is to five and they are requesting for a pause as you can see a technical pause i'll say or not looks like they do not need a pause after all but looks like um this game is uh, pretty much a stalemate. Uh, as you can see, four is to five. Uh, we are ten rounds in, and all of the economy seems to be perfectly balanced. Everything has been working out uh, pretty decently for uh, Team Hybrid Gamers. They lost a couple of rounds at the, f uh, at the start. It looks like they are slowly redeeming themselves back uh, in place. It looks like a really quick push from Saint. Facing the wrong side actually, it looks like Rose will be able to get a quick kill over him as he did manage to get a really nice boost up here and will be able to mow down two in this case. Incendiary out and looks like Shao Shafi gets a kill on the speed just so easily with only Limp Guru the only one remaining from the team as he is left alone to clutch right outside of Link Ways and hopefully that he will be able to get a kill or maybe not. One against five. With the C4 on himself, he have to work with something. Probably, uh, as you can, uh, he pretty much saw that there's a lot of people in A. He's uh, just going to focus right onto apartments. Looks like he gets one, but looks like an avenge kill coming in from Quacky is not really fast enough. As he's um, not really fast enough to get the kill. Hopefully, that if he managed to get a single tab on on that uh, on the on, on the first person that he tried to aim for, he might be able to switch targets as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as um, as soon as the first kill was done with. But uh, he proceeded with the spray down, and that would result in his demise, and that pretty much uh, spells doom for himself and the team. Five is to five. Gafka is forced. Uh, is going in for a forced right about here. Face going in straight on the crack and looks like a really nice blind coming in. We do have one man in onto Ultima Eclipse that is going to be on the first boxes. We'll be fighting against with three men in with two person right on the CD spawn. And it looks like there will be a retreat coming in from Team Gafka as they believe that the entire team of Team Hybrid Gamers went for a full rotation. Never do they know! And ben uh, beneath them, Ultima is just waiting for them at the brackets and hopefully the, he will be able to get a quick and efficient kill and here comes a, oh, here comes a grenade with Lust Bridge just around the corner will be able to cover his ass as well and looks like he, they will be able to finish, finish them up with Love Spray finishing the round with two kills for himself looks like the game will be paused in favor for Team Gafka and they are I believe that Team Gafka need to restart yes Looks like, of course, we do have a technical issue, as you can see. One disconnection coming in from Team Hybrid Gamers. We'll just wait a little bit while longer as they reconnect back into the game. But we'll take this time and really take a look more into the game uh, as to how Team Gafka is eventually doing. So, um, it was a pretty... It was pretty advantages for team gafka as they managed to win the uh, knife uh, they managed to win the pistol round follow uh, and the two following rounds and hybrid gamers managed to clinch the first victory against them on the fourth uh, on the fourth and team gafka uh, comes back in with the fifth and the sixth round but following after that looks like everything went downhill for team gafka what they are doing wrong we do not know exactly for sure what's going on uh, wrong or not but looks like the entire team doesn't seem to be doing uh, exactly bad as you can see the team average for uh, for the T side is somewhere right around the middle as you can see they are falling off short in the 11th round and they were pretty much on the same same call in the 9th round as, uh, as you can see but looks like Eclipse is doing well off the average as you can see and so is Xiao Sheffi in this, in this point of time. But never mind that. We're going into round 12. 
Looks like uh, it's a pretty decent and a normal kind of lineup coming in from Team Gafka as they pretty much uh, force it out. We do have face with the AWP. Hopefully, they he will be able to get a simple snipe off from Banana. Uh, but uh, of course, there is uh, in, an incendiary at the point of time. Smokes right in the middle lane. Hopefully, that he will be able to get a wild random shot in the middle lane. Hopefully, that there will be someone in hybrid gamers that actually kind of pick out, trying to do a little bit of a cheesy movement. But looks like that will be not the case. That will not be the case as Charles uh, Sheffy, who is going to be the upper of the round, or uh, rather upper of this game, uh, is just going to play a little bit more towards Archway, and hopefully that he he's well, well he's play, he's been playing rather uh, rather defensively. So we're pretty much props to that, as you can see, Face versus Sal Sheffy. So Sheffy, of course, having the more uh, advantageous role as he's using a very, very small corner, as you can see. Managed to get a kill on the face, followed by Imbu uh, Liv Guru as he finds himself another one. Trying to get a little bit of a decent spam going on as he tries to uh, stop everyone from running anywhere. But looks like Love Spray will be able to get himself one on the Virgin Killer. Two men in Saint coming in really slowly onto CT spawn. I believe he doesn't know one person is there. Boosted, in fact, as Eclipse was right on top of the flower pots and he will be able to catch Saint a little bit off guard and of course off hit, uh, hit speed. So speed is gonna be here and of course Lusprey will be able to deal with the finishing blow as he avenges for his rather, uh, of his unfortunate teammate at the point of time. 7, seven is a 5 in favor of Team Hybrid Gamers. We are seven, uh, 13 rounds in for those people who have just recently joined us in the stream right here. This is Team Gafka versus Team Hybrid Gamers. This is day 3. And of course, this is going to be the last day of the qualifiers. So after this, we're going in for a quarterfinals, which will be on the Sunday. Full day, in fact. So uh, hopefully that you guys will be able to stay, stay tuned for this. This is the ROG Masters. My name is Abstract. And of course, I will be joined by Aris, which will come in for the next game, which will be Face Washes versus a QKM. Let's be finding himself one. Most probably going to find himself with another one. Probably not. He's not going to push in anytime soon. Still going to stay around in brackets and just going to go straight on to the A side and just going to make some rotations here and there as they play very, very defensively. We do have uh, Ultima that's just right behind the taller boxes. Taking a look into apartments and hopefully that no one just put, tries to push themselves in. And looks like FaZe will go down immediately as Love Spray managed to find himself a single kill at this point of time. Virgin Killer coming in behind the wagon. Just barely missing Love Spray as they are just one pillar off. And looks like Virgin Killer will be able to find himself one as uh, Love Spray is a little bit off of um, the screen. And looks like the plant will be finally in favor for Team Kafka. So Sheffy being smoked off, Eclipse joins him and looks like we have a double upper roll about here and of course a really nice boost but looks like he will miss that shot unfortunately as we do have speed going in, his HP is really low so Chef he gets a shot and of course Saint will be able to finish him off he finishes off Eclipse as well, Eclipse wasn't able to fully capitalize on that despite how close he was to Saint Team Gafka Winning in that unorthodox round, which I thought, I initially really thought that they, uh, they, uh, Team Hybrid Gamers might actually win that. But, count me out, looks like that was not the case, and Team Gafka wins the round. Going in for a uh, triple three man on to second mid, one, uh, and um, one in Banana, and one in T-Slope. We are looking into a more defensive role again for Team Hybrid Gamers as we have uh, Eclipse onto Coffins as well as Quacky onto Coffins as well. So we have two men stacking onto Coffins. Hopefully that there will not, uh, there will no, there will be no collateral shot anytime soon. Now speed is up to some trouble. It's either gonna be a trouble or it's gonna be a reward for him as he looks down onto Car. Uh, sorry, not Car anymore. It's just, uh, it's just the cardboard or rather the planks. So looking into CT spawn, not gonna find himself one, never do he know and beneath him there will be two men waiting for him right at coffin. Maybe it's an analogy whereby the coffin is for him and looks like it is, it is an analogy. Now Eclipse will be able to get a quick shot off of speed, 
incendiary out onto banana no um, no one is at banana as we do have uh, two men in onto brackets hopefully they will, they will be able to catch someone off guy looks like Sasha misses the first shot initially doesn't know the limb guru actually pushes up already he doesn't he doesn't know the limb guru has pushed it up already and he's just going to go right behind of library and he might actually get a knife off this please do not shoot do not shoot oh he actually got a shot off and looks like he pretty much go off the corner gets another kill onto love spray and looks like they have no communication down Ultima managed to get a kill not too sure how how exactly got that but still really well played coming in from Lim Guru as FaZe is going to left uh, be left with all by himself with the C4 Going in by Linkway as he have uh, ran out of time and hybrid gamers will be able to clinch this victory for them and that will be coming to a close for the first half of today of hybrid gamers versus team Kafka. We eventually take a look at how we're going to play this round out. Uh, team Gafka not looking very well. Uh, they conceded that round to Team Hybrid Gamers is still pretty much a. Um, I will say that this game is still kind of uh, a. What's the word I'm looking for? Is still in a stalemate. Yes, it's just uh, on a stalemate. Uh, both teams are playing rather defensively, but of course, Team Gafka being the terrorist side, they have no choice but to play a little bit more offensively as they know that hybrid gamers are not going to push them anytime soon. They are playing very, very defensive positions at uh, coffins, at triple crates, as well as uh, in mid. Uh, sorry, not mid, uh, as well as being on the CT spawn as much as they can for the, uh, on the B side and of course A they are pretty much at graveyard they are at pit as well as balcony really difficult to um, to get the edge for Team Gafka so Hybrid Gamers are uh, doing pretty well but of course props to Team Gafka as well managing to get himself 6 victory despite, uh, despite the fact that uh, they are playing in Inferno because I would always say that Inferno is slightly more towards uh, the uh, counter terrorist side Definitely to the commentary side actually. Eclipse got a quick pick off of speed. Second time in a row, unfortunately for him. Now Eclipse uh, right in the ninja corner will be able to get a kill onto uh, in, onto face, find himself one. Finds himself another one with a no scope right about here. And looks like in, uh, we have another no scope. Oh but what the hell is going on here? But looks like Eclipse will go down as uh, Virgin Killer gets a quick Glock shot into the space. And we close out for the first half as Hybrid Gamers emerge with victory 9 to 6. And we are going to go into second round, or, uh, or rather the second half of this game. Hybrid Gamers versus Team Gafka, 9 to 6 of the ROG Masters, day 3 of the CSGO journey. We're five seconds in before the next, uh, before the second round is going to uh, is going to commence. Team Hybrid Gamers, which is going to be swapped to the side of the terrorist side, and Gafka is going to be at the counter terrorist side. Now we'll have to see eventually if whether um, Team Gafka is actually doing exceptionally well in the terrorist side, or is it that Team Gafka is actually doing good job in the counter terrorist side? Oh, sorry, Hybrid Gamers actually do doing work in counter terrorist side despite of how defensive that they are playing. Now we'll take a look at how Team Gafka is going to play out their uh, their roles. Are they going to go for a little bit more of a, the aggra uh, aggressive side, or are they going to play defensive as much as possible? As you can see, in Limp Guru playing right about CT spawn, and of course, Hybrid Gamers just taking their time a little bit as they throw out the decoy. We do have Quacky with the incendiary, or rather the Molotov, as well as the smoke love spray with smokes and uh, flashes so this pretty much shows that they are going to go for mid they're going to uh, 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 they're going to smoke out one side most probably is smoking out the archway no I believe not they are most probably going to smoke out the boiler side they're going to smoke out boiler side go one way around to archway and hopefully going in straight to the B side as you can see they're going in they are definitely going in they are into library and looks like they are going to f go for a full rotation as I expected. Now they are uh, quacky right behind of Saint. And there we go, one kill in. And um, that will be around the world coming in from Team Hybrid Gamers as they close things out. We do have Sal Sheffy 
right around the corner on the virgin killer right under the tree and he will be able to get himself one kill one more man in the banana high uh, cell chef is really low in hp will be able to clip up a kill right onto car uh, around to the um planks and here we have the first win going in to team hybrid gamers with the first round emerging victory for Team Hybrid Gamers, they are going definitely going to play a little bit more aggressive with all the UMPs and the MP7s. I would suppose that they are going to run down onto Banana, but now that the fact that Banana is a lot more wide now, it's more um it's more better for Team Kafka to actually push down. But looks like uh, they actually push down in middle, in fact, not pushing down into Banana. I thought that they might uh, throw more grenades into Banana uh, because, well, as you all know, throwing grenades into banana is uh is make uh it made things a lot a lot easier now, and it pretty much uh promotes pushes onto banana a lot more as well. But that also means that a lot of angles to cover, so pros and cons all pretty much taken into account. And uh, with that said and done, Gafka positioned themselves with three men into B phase right on the triple crates, find himself one, find himself two, or maybe not, just two couple of shots. And looks like Ultima just waiting for himself and right about the corner, looks like one man in the garden, and Ultima will be able to get a spray off right onto Saint with a one man in onto Limp Guru as he slowly make his way. Hopefully that he'll be able to find a quick shot, but looks like Love Spray will be able to get a UMP light up on his ass, and of course that will be the end of him. 11 to 6 in favor of Hard Team Hybrid Gamers. We just need five more rounds coming in from Hybrid Gamers, and of course Gafka have to step up their game. And if they do not win 10 more rounds, they are going to concede this match against Hybrid Gamers. Do know that this is the best of one series. Once they lose, if Team Gafka, uh, team Gafka lose. They are out of this competition of ROG Masters and they have to try again in the next competition. Hopefully that we'll be able to see them. Now we do have a little bit of a heavier side right on to middle. We do have one man in the um the balcony. Not really balcony actually, we're pretty much um the um the room. I I would say balcony room or rather the open room. One man is there. So Chef is just trying to find himself a little bit of um of a uh, of a play area here, gay corner on the face, and he will be able to light him up on fire, and him I mean eclipse, and looks like we have one man suspicious as to what is uh, in store for him, but face really low in HP. I really don't think that he will be able to survive this onslaught, but looks like he will be able to light out quite a lot onto um. Quacky over here and uh, Team Hybrid Gamers will be able to mow down two men two men down for himself as well Ultima catching insane as Saint was trying to get a rotation up unknown to him the rotation was made up and look at all look at this look at this game looks like the rotation was forced onto Limp Guru he makes himself at home at the tree area waiting for a little bit of a game coming in from team hybrid gamers not too sure whether he rotated to defend or he rotated to save his ass now the thing is now he is one against three i really don't think that he stands a chance against hybrid gamers the thing is he is on the third round of the second half i don't think that he should go in he should most probably try to save up this ump at least um get himself a little bit of an edge on the third round because on the third round th uh, the whole of team Gafka is going to go for full eco and um, with a UMP on his side it will definitely increase the chances and of course the odds of them defending on one point so as, uh, as all of that is said and done Lim Guru will hide himself right on the coffin and we are going in for round number 19 as Hybrid Gamers got themselves with 12 win and Gafka with 6 Lim Guru putting up himself with a UMP while well, the whole of the team have no choice but to go for a full eco looks like we might see a 3 man nade coming in 3 man yep pretty much nades round to banana Never uh, beneath them we do have a push coming in from Ultima of course uh, Hybrid Gamer is just going to go in strong Lim Guru right on triple crates finds himself quite a lot of trouble looks like he will not be able to get a kill onto Sal Sheffy unfortunately for him as Ultima will be able to find himself one onto Lim Guru it was a fast fast take coming in from Team Gafka I don't think that they will be able to do anything but they definitely have to push up I don't I don't think that they should save or at all they should just push together and hopefully that uh, or rather what they can do 
is to wait for Team Hybrid Gamers to go a little bit of a complacent, I suppose. But looks like we have Virgin Killer being the only one remaining for Team Gafka. And like I said, looks like Team Hybrid Gamers is a little bit more complacent. And uh, looks like Xiao Shafi, despite his low in H uh, despite his low of HP, Virgin Killer was not able to light a single shot onto Xiao Shafi, which eventually gave him another kill, which puts himself at 20 21 kill, which is pretty much the MVP of this game of Team Hybrid Killer. 13 is to 6. This is uh, round 20. Do know that this is the best of one series. My name is Abstract, and I will be a caster for today for the next three rounds, includes our uh, excluding of this. Next game, we do have face washes against Team QKM, so stay tuned for that. Our team is just going to be mowed down by phase, uh, mowed down by from Team Gafka. Looks like Team Gafka is not good, doing well at all as Hybrid Gamers manage to see, uh, seal the deal as our uh, Team Gafka. Just going to end that round with 14 to 6. We wasn't able to see much of the um, the actions coming in. Not to show you whether Team Gafka was uh, pushing in or not. I believe that they pretty much pushed in as uh, they pretty much went on a full eco, I believe. As uh, they do have the full economy to get themselves two AWPs. So, will Team Gafka be able to work this out? Beneath them, we do have Eclipse managed to get one kill. Another kill from Ultima onto Limp Guru, trying to light up the planks here in Banana. It will be 5 against 3 scenario. We do have a very sad, sad uh, phase right here. Uh, not, not, not phase, uh, Saint right here onto Triple Crits with an MP7 holding on to B all by himself. Never do he know that almost a full team of Team Hybrid Gamers is most probably going to go by Banana or maybe not, a little bit of a rotation going up as they are going in for uh, the brackets right here as FaZe lights himself, uh, lights Ultima up, gets a single kill and they pretty much know of the information uh, I don't think that um, FaZe sh uh, should stay there but looks like Library will be well lit and Virgin Killer will stay himself right on here and looks like Graveyard will be able to get a kill onto him and Saint all by himself with everyone in A. He is left with no choice but to save his MP7. They are going in for the match point for the next round. Hybrid Gamers 15 is to 6. I don't think that Saint is going to fight against all of them in Team Hybrid Gamers. He's just going to prove himself uh, a lot of challenges. And not to forget that they do have um, AWPs and looks like Quacky misses the first shot and they will be able to light him on fire. Love Spray gets himself a kill onto Saint. Match point. 15 is to 6 with 10 seconds left remaining onto the freezing uh, freeze time. Round 22. We'll see eventually how Team Gafka is gonna play this out. They definitely have to force this round. We do have A4s coming in from Gafka, Famas, P90, as well as MP7s. They are. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Hybrid Gamers is just going to push all the way, or maybe not. They are not rushing. They are playing a little bit more conservative. We do have one man in here onto CT uh, onto CD spawn, waiting for the perfect time to get a pop flash out. We do have one man into triple crates. And of course, we have a push onto Linkways as Speed moving in onto Link. Putting himself close to Squeaky. Right onto Squeaky now. Do not open the door. He's just going to expose his position to Love Spray if he opens up Squeaky, I believe. But looks like he's just going to make his way to the bridge. Slowly rounding up to T-Spawn. This might actually be a good position for Speed. We are looking into Speed. Going in right behind the whole of Team Hybrid Gamers. Never do he know that one man in is actually a banana. They're going. He's going to meet up with Speed, and looks like he's trying to go for a knife. And of course, Speed will be able to light him, uh, light one man on fire, and A will be all but open. Two men rotating in A, uh, rotating into A. The C4 will be planted. Face Speed and Saint. They have to make this game work. We do have one man on the arch going into archway. One man for speed, of course he did the really nice back step, just going to try to get a kill on a patio, but looks like we'll, he will be able to concede him, and he will go straight to the spawn, and looks like Eclipse coming in from pit, will we get a really fast hit right here, and there we go, that will be the game, and that will end Team Gafka for this matchup, and Team Hybrid Gamers will proceed to the quarterfinals, and we will see them in on Sunday. 
Now we're just going to bring into the next game, which will be face washes against Team QKM for the next round. We are just going to go in for a very quick break and uh, we will see you very, very soon. Congratulations to Team Hybrid Gamers. My name is Abstract. You're watching ROG Masters. We'll be right back.